you feel that we should cut him some slack? Sterling, yeah. that is. 100%. Why? I think, why? Because in 1934, you didn't have African-American rights, you didn't have black people rights, women's rights, everything was different. It was a different time period. So mm -hmm. that when it comes down to now, he was, he was 29 years old when Martin Luther King led his march on Washington which it means he already went through his adolescence years. I mean, I'm 19 right now, so mm -hmm. most of the stuff that I'm learning now is gonna carry with me till the day that I die because I'm in my most, I'm gonna say, influential age mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's where I'm gonna get most of my views on life. Mm -hmm. So when you're growing up in a different time period and you're my age in the 1940s and the 1950s when everything was segregated and, and not everyone had full rights and it was basically about the white man and that was it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that that is definitely gonna play in mm -hmm. about how he is because mm -hmm. You can't, you can't take that from him. Do you think he's a racist? Yes, 100%. When he brought in a coach to, to interview for the job, he said, how are you gonna coach all these, you know, N-words? Mm -hmm. So. Natives? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But that's, so this already happened. I mean, he's a lawyer too, so he settled that in court and didn't have to pay once he didn't get in trouble, but he showed racist remarks before today. I think it's okay for him to say what he said because he thought he was in the privacy of his own home and he wasn't really advertising his views towards everybody. He was just saying it to his girlfriend. I mean, granted, his own girlfriend's also, I think she's half Mexican and half black as well. So I don't know why you would be voicing your opinion to her mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. I would 100% say that the media is blowing this out of proportion. Why? Why? Because I said, uh, well, allegedly less than two minutes ago, that um, this isn't his first time, you know, coming out with a racist remark or anything. Mm -hmm. and. In today's world, the only reason why this is such a big thing is because he's an owner in the NBA. But racism happens every day. Racist things happen. You know, hate crimes, all that stuff that happens every single day, and it doesn't get nearly as much attention as, as this does just because he's in the limelight. I think one of the reasons why white racism is so is still around as much as it is today is because if something with a political figure or a celebrity, something happens that has to do with race, mm -hmm. it's covered. There's a consequence, and then it's covered and it's covered and it's covered and it's covered. Did you grow up in a, in a racist? House? No, not at all. No, mm -hmm. not at all. I actually have come up friends are African-American, I have no, I have no problem with it. But it's not just black and white. Oh yeah, no, well, no I, I have no problem with, with any other ethnicities, nothing like that. I work, I work in a restaurant, so I work with a bunch of Spanish people. He didn't even realize that he was being racist in the whole thing. I don't know if you like picked that up, mm -hmm. but the whole time he was saying like, um, do whatever you want, I really don't care, just don't publicize it. He didn't care about hanging out with, that she was hanging out with the black people or that, that the mm -hmm. Spanish guys or, or anybody that she was hanging out with. He was just mad that she was publicizing it. So clearly, he was, his, his racism has obviously been turned down, mm -hmm. and it's not as full as it probably was. So do you was. believe he was a, a hidden racist? Yes, 100%, 100%. Mm -hmm. Because How do you think he, he treated his, his players? His players? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he, ran his organi he runs his organization like a plantation. He said that he was paying for them to live, to fee he was feeding them, buying them cars, houses, luxury items. So he was basically saying that he was, they were his slaves. He's taking it as, all right, I'm paying you guys. You guys are my slaves. You guys are my workers. You listen to me and what I have to do. She's 25. I don't know, I don't know what you're doing as a 25-year-old girl dating an 80-year-old man. What? Besides money. But I, I, do you I, think she was using him for his money? Oh, of course, by far. I don't know if you've ever been on I looked at her Instagram after it all happened. She has, like, you know, it's like Coke. It's like therapist, like all these, like, different, like, things in her bio about what she is. But she's not really any of them. She's a girl with a pretty face and a pretty smile that, that tried to marry an 80 year old man for his money. So you think she's a user? Yeah, 100%, 100%. I also, I also think she set it up even though it set him up even though it, she said she didn't and like her lawyer said she didn't. I'm 100% sure she set him up. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because in the in the recording, she baits him. Everything she says is baiting him. She, she, she says at one point, um, I'm black, I'm Mexican. Do you have, like, what's the problem with that? And he, he tries to shy away from it the whole time. He's, mm -hmm. He tries to say, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm done with this conversation. I'm done with this conversation. And then she just keeps jumping back in it and jumping back on him and jumping back on it. Mm -hmm. So I believe she, she did set him up for it. When you finally get to the safety and the privacy of your own home, that you should be able to cut loose, be yourself. You know, mm -hmm. if, if you're racist, be racist. You know, mm -hmm. do, do you at your own home. You're alone. You don't have to worry about mm -hmm. people taking pictures of you and stuff like that. So I think that she's wrong in the aspect that if she were to set, uh, where she did record him that he's in his home. Do you think he ever caused her any racial slips? Yes, I, I think that's one of the reasons why. If she did bring, if she did set him up or, or record him, I think that's why mm -hmm. she recorded it. Is because it happened once or twice before. Mm -hmm. She just didn't want to deal with it anymore. You know, and there's there's just too many to call to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's probably she probably called nigger, probably said some hurtful Spanish things, mm -hmm. like like Mexican. What is your take on the word nigger? Is it something you are for, you're against? I mean, I, I don't say it because, I mean, 
But yeah, I mean, I'm white. I don't have I don't have reason to say it. I'm not I'm not racist. I'm not trying to hurt insult or anything. But when I'm joking around with my friends, yeah, we'll joke around and say nigga, like like we're messing around. I mean, I have one of my best friends is a black guy, and when all of his like other friends come over, they say my nigga like every five seconds, every couple of words that comes out, it mm-hmm. comes out. It's part of our generation. The word has mm-hmm. adapted from a racist slur mm-hmm. to a term of endearment for friend or brother or mm-hmm. cousin. You know. So are you okay with being called that? Yeah, I mean, I have no problem with it. It doesn't affect me in any way possible. I mean, I also, I've been called names. I'm a big kid. I've been called fat, stupid, dumb, all that stuff. I don't really care what people call me. For. What is your message for Sterling? Keep your personal beliefs like that to yourself, even in the privacy of your own home, because mm-hmm. you don't know who's When do you think it's okay for him to be who he is? I mean, considering he was in the I privacy mean, of his own now, home. Now, it doesn't matter what he does, because... Ultimately, the owners are going to vote to try and kick him out of the league. Mm-hmm. A couple of people are already mm-hmm. saying that they would buy it. Magic Johnson, mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather, mm-hmm. a bunch of other people. So right now, he does Do you think they should, any of those people should have the right to... I think everybody but Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because Floyd Mayweather has had on tape and recordings of him saying some racist remarks towards white people. If someone were to be racist towards white people, I don't think it's, it's going to ever get the public eye like... Like this is, or, or the Trayvon Martin thing, or anything with other things, because in America, whites have been predominant. I find racist jokes funny sometimes. I think racism, you know. What's, what's the funniest racist joke you've ever heard? Oh, I gotta think on that. That's gonna take me a minute. But, um. <laughs> uh, ever see the Boondock Saints? The movie? No. Okay, there's a joke in the movie. Even though racism, it's clearly not a joke. And then, I mean, by Donald Sterling, this whole thing, you know, you know, it's not. But I think that it's funny how mm-hmm. how racism has been around since the start of the start of our country, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's not fading away. So I think. Do you think racism will ever exist? I mean, never not exist. Yes. No, I don't think so. I, I, there's just too. You think much, always Yeah, there's too much same. past tension between between all races and stuff like that. If you're growing up in a, in a city where there there's gangs and stuff like that, and you know, as, as we know, gangs are predominantly made up of African Americans and stuff like that. I think that that is going to have, you're going to have a different opinion than the the white kid growing up on Long mm-hmm. Island, mm-hmm. rather than the African American kid growing up in the city. All the people who, who bash Sterling, what is your message to them? Uh, bash them all you want, because it, it, you can't, I mean, I'd say bash them all you want because it came out, but I don't. I don't necessarily think that he should be judged as hard, I and mean, we talked about this in class the other judged as hard because he, he's from a different time period, he's, uh, he's three years old, another older generation, he's 80, he's an old man, he grew up in the time where racism was predominantly the thing, and then if you were a white male, you full, thoroughly thought that you were better than everybody else. Mm-hmm. So I think that that is, you, you will never be able to take that out of his character. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he was. I think he was wrong for killing him, but I don't think he was wrong for being a little scared because everybody gets scared. It's, I don't remember what time it happened. I'm trying to remember most of the stuff as I'm talking right now. But he, um, what's his name? Trayvon Martin was walking around and stuff like that with a hood on. You know, apparently minding his own business, stuff like that. But you get scared, and, and human instincts is is to do something now, ask questions later, mm-hmm. react later mm-hmm. to what you just did. So I think that he was just following his, his human instincts and his primal instincts mm-hmm. to do that. And I, I, but do you think, yes, he was following his instincts, but that resulted in the death of a human being? But that happens all the time. It, it, it was only really that a big thing, like, no offense, like, just because he was an African American. I'm Marcus Ford, and this is... Lenny Gopi. And this is the what? The Marcus Show. The Marcus. Marcus. The, 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 the last name. You don't even know the last name. Of Mercy. It's, what is the last name? Marcus Ware Show, right? What? What was it? Where? <laughs> it's close. The Marcus Ward Show. Thank you so much, Lenny. Me, I weigh two. Right now, I weigh two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. Yeah. What's but the when worst I was in, thing? When I was in seventh grade, eighth grade, I was weighing like what one eighty-five, one ninety, mm-hmm. which, which is really big for a kid. Are you obese. insecure about your weight? No, not at all. I could care less. Okay. <laughs> I'll go eat a I'll eat six bacon cheeseburgers right now. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Big side of fries. <laughs> get that milkshake too. <laughs>